You've probably seen these videos online. A metal plate is sprinkled with sand, and when sound plays, the sand organizes itself into beautiful geometric patterns. Kind of like snowflakes designed by a hardcore rave DJ. That's cymatics. But the story, it goes way deeper. From ancient mystics, to Nazi scientists, to modern healers that blast bowls of water with beats. Hey there, hey there, hey there, folks, and welcome back to another episode of The Evening Goose. Once again, I'm your host, Andrew Ginsberg. I'm a former tech employee turned stand-up comedian, and today I'm diving into the wonderful world of cymatics. That's the idea that sound doesn't just hit your ears, it actually shapes reality. I mentioned cymatics in a couple of my Evening Goose videos, and I thought it'd be a good time right now to do a little quick dive on what cymatics is, so we all have a definition of it moving forward to the future. Okay, uh, real talk, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher this name, so I'm sorry, I apologize. I couldn't find a pronunciation of it. The roots go back to Ernst Kladny. Ernst Kladny. That's the 18th century German physicist known as the father of acoustics. He took a violin bow, scraped it across a metal plate, and then bang. Sand leapt into complex patterns. These became known as Cladney figures. Napoleon Bonaparte was so impressed that he gave Cladney a prize. So yeah, the same guy who conquered Europe was like, dude, yeah. Play that plate again, bro. Let's go. But many argue the idea is even older. Ancient cultures from Tibetan monks using singing bowls to Egyptians chanting inside of echo chambers to me vibing out to Pink Floyd's animals in my bedroom with my JBL L100 speakers all seem to know that sound could shape matter. Let's talk a bit about the mysticism behind all this. Mystics say cymatics is proof of my favorite thing, the hermetic philosophy as above, so below within and without. Life goes on within you and without you. Ugh, that was a pretty bad George Harrison impression, but I tried. The vibration creates the form. Think sacred geometry, mandalas, and even the claim that the universe itself is sound. Remember the Bible, which I don't really care about, but in the beginning, there was the word. That's a sound. Some new age thinkers even think that certain frequencies can heal your cells or activate higher states of consciousness, which like I said, I do think I experience when I listen to Pink Floyd. In the 20th century, a Swiss scientist named Hans Jenny actually coined the term somatics. He filmed powders, liquids, even goo, forming stunning shapes under vibration. Side note, this guy, he really sounds like a complete, complete weirdo, in my opinion. He described them as frozen music, and all of his friends said, dude, put the bong down. Today, cymatics is used everywhere, from sound therapy, architectural acoustics, even art installations. Some engineers study it to design better speakers, which is what I'm all about. As I mentioned, I restored myself a pair of JBL L100s, my favorite speakers of all time. And conspiracy forums argue that governments could use sound to control crowds, or depending on which corner of YouTube you're on, to open portals. This makes me think of Skinwalker Ranch. By the way, if you don't watch that show, you should watch it. I did this video way back in the day on it. Uh, they've evolved a lot since I made this video, uh, a lot more new findings, but they always have a weird frequency that appears when the UAPs show up, and there seems to be a portal opening that has to do with the sound. And I, I would just, just watch that video. But to me, here's the really important part. Cymatics teaches us that things that are invisible are not only real, they potentially shape reality. This stuff is shaping everything. Whether you see it as physics or proof that we're just kind of vibing in a cosmic sort of soup, it's kind of wild to think that every word we speak, every sound we make, has a physical fingerprint in another kind of realm. So the next time I blast my music in my apartment, which I do regularly and annoy my neighbors, I'll remind them. I'm not just blasting music, I'm rearranging reality. Now get out of my face. Thanks for watching this quick update of the Evening Goose, folks. Please like, subscribe, support the channel. Deeper dives coming soon on some of our favorite topics like Jack Parsons, AI, etc. Just wanted to get some quick ones out this week. Appreciate you. Have a great day. Thank you.